Yeah, okay. See him again with Zorori. Hey, Lemmings to the tribes, but it's on Game Boy. Now this would be good. Oh boy. So yes, I am a huge fan of Lemmings on the Super Nintendo. Which I kind of made obvious by the previous Lemmings video. Which I already... Oh my dear sweet lord. That afro on that lemming. Holy crap, man. Like, I know the lemmings have ridiculously bushy hair in the images that they have on the Super NES, but that is something else. But anyways, yes, I am a huge, huge fan of lemmings on Super Nintendo. Not as big of a fan of the ports on other things, like NES, Game Boy, even the PC original. Or I've heard good things about the Amiga version, but I've never tried that. So I don't know exactly how that one goes. But Lemmings 2, I am not as big of a fan of. Like, I liked the idea behind Lemmings of having those 10 abilities and solving every single puzzle in the game through some combination of them. This adds like 25, 30 more abilities, and I like the variation of all the areas, I just am not a fan of the overload of abilities. I thought it was kind of unnecessary, and while some of them are kind of cool, they're all really variations on doing the exact same thing. Very, very few of the new abilities are actually new abilities, like things you could not do with, you know, the other, the, the original 10. Yep, there was Lemmings 2 on Super NES and Genesis and other such systems. Okay, that is... can we be done with the story? <laughs> Can we just get to the stages? No, oh, we're just immediately going into the beach. Okay, so we have Jumper, Bomber, Flamethrower, Super Lamb, Stomper, Runner, Roper, and Pyramider. Okay. And apparently we could have passed on that and gone to a different stage, so we'll have to try that out too. Okay, so... Hitting... B... Ah, holding B allows us to switch the thing, and hitting A makes the lemming do the thing. Okay, so we have exits, or, well, entrances, entrances, entrances. Where's the exit? Oh, there's the exit. Okay, so jumper, bomber, flamethrower. Let's flamethrow a tree. Good, that gets them to the exit. And I think there's lemmings up here trapped, yes. Super lamb, I, I, I'd like to see what this does. What? Hey. Well, I don't know what that did. Stomper, let's get you out of the hole. By creating even more hole. You folks can go down here, that should be safe. I don't think that fall will- oh, that fall, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the longer fall will definitely kill them. Actually, for the sake of it, just because it's always fun to show off. <laughs> Cute little sound. Okay, so... <laughs> indeed, they can't survive that fall. So I think that should be everything. <laughs> yes, indeed. Alright. That was easy enough. Jumper, platformer, fencer, and stomper. What else do we have? Oh, oh, that's not past level, that's password. Oops. Misunderstanding there. 
Okay, so I do want to see... Let's go to the map, because I think that's how... Yes. That is how we get to all the other areas. And, oh, are there other areas in this game? Let's start off with the classic, why not? And just check out a couple worlds in here. Oh, hey! An attempt at one of the original songs. Interesting. Okay, so... I think... Let's go ahead and block off there. And yeah, that should be good. Let's try bashing. Seems like it should be fairly straightforward. Apparently, again, we have eight lemmings, and only eight em lemmings. That's weird, because, you know, in other things, you would get at least ten as a minimum, usually, on the intro stages, and anywhere from, like, twenty to ninety-nine on other stages. Also, on other versions, you get, like, a thinking noise as he runs out of bricks to put down for his bridge. Or er, staircase. <laughs> but uh here it's not so much a thinking noise. <laughs> okay, so that will take care of that quite nicely. I'm very glad that did not break through the floor entirely. What? Must try harder. Boo. That would have been really bothersome if all the lemmings had to be with him at all times. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay, that's what I thought. I did think that I had been save stating in there. Let's make a uh, additional save state here. And just start checking out worlds. Also, let's start checking out abilities, too, because why not? <laughs> we have them, may as well use them. Oh, hey, and we can also switch uh, things with select. And there's a thing. <laughs> Even easier in this version, wow. how the wind control works in this Game Boy version. Very unusual. Okay, so we have boiling seas of lava, or possibly just water, it's very hard to tell, here on this Game Boy version. And we have a TARDIS. Okay. I'm going to assume we can't dig through that stuff. Well, let's try a platformer out and see. Well, that's a er, horizontal builder. Jumpers, obvious. Pyramider. Not really gonna try and win this one, just going to be checking out what the things do. So that's a Pyramider, and we can do that exactly once in this stage. Doesn't really seem useful. And a Tractor, I guess that's kind of like a uh, blocker. And a Stacker. Oh, hey. A vertical builder. That is nifty. Okay, so yes, back to here. Don't care about actually completing anything anymore. Wow, so few things. Builder, jumper, and a tractor. Well, we've already seen all those abilities, so let's just check out the stage. Really? Huh. 
how are you supposed to complete this with just builder, jumper, and a tractor? Obviously you put in a tractor up here so that, you know, everybody stops falling to their deaths. And you would want a builder going that way. But beyond that, I'm not really certain. Okay, so you would set one attractor over here as this one guy builds. Hmm. Very interesting stage setup. So yeah, two attractors on each end. The one guy goes through and builds up. And hopefully they can survive the fall down to the exit. Presumably they could. And then you just make the attractors into jumpers. And you go from there. Laser blaster. That sounds interesting. I think that's just a sort of other basher, or is it straight up? Oh, wow. <laughs> straight up. So that's a thing. What else we got? Magic bridge. Let's find another place to use the magic bridge. Also, this one looks really not fun. I see. Okay, so we can make one of them into a climber. Let's get you up and out of there. And all sorts of flashing light type things going all bouncy in the background there. And he automatically uses the cannon. Awesome. Very good that he survives that. Not a clue in the world how you're entirely supposed to accomplish this particular mission, though. Obviously, that is not it, but still. Anyways, trying out other things. Medieval! Sure. <laughs> it's Minor Jumper, Pyramid, or Jetpack. Jetpack is a fun one. Also Icarus Wings as well. But they both require an understanding of how to use the wind thing. And here I really don't. Oh, cool. The old bird skull thing. Like, in the other versions you have your cursor turns into a fan for wind control. And then, oh! What? That is different! That is very different! Okay, so it essentially... <laughs> I killed him by sending him off the top of the screen! I didn't know that was a thing you could do! But yeah, in the others, it just sort of... Your cursor becomes a fan, and you can essentially just direct them around with it. And it actually makes more sense, like... You have a better idea of... What effect your wind power is having. Okay, that's enough of that. Ooh, nice! Bazooka and Fencer couple we have not seen yet. Oh, that is nearly useless. That is my other qualm with this game, is how some of the powers are highly questionable as to how effective they are. Each and every one of these powers, pretty much, aside from Digger, is to get through a single wall like this. Except Bazooka is almost pointless in how badly it actually works.
Meanwhile, all the rest, like Fencer and Basher and Flamethrower to some extent, are quite good at going through these kinds of walls. Like this one I think we can actually complete. Assuming we can click people in the right spots. And somehow it's clicking on the guy farthest left in the line. I don't know quite how it's doing that. I will say that the uh, time limit has been incredibly generous for these first stages. But I guess that's to be expected since, you know, first stages. Yay. And now we <laughs> load the save state and it's as though that never happened. Ooh, Ballooner, that's new. And Planter is as well. Let's see what that does. Didn't even look at those options earlier. Okay, so what does Planter do? Whoa! <laughs> Guess it makes a sort of a... weird bridge-like thing, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see if Roper still works the same way. This is another one of those ones that is... pretty new. Oh. And only go to a few specific angles. Yeah, that's not overly helpful. And will it reach? No, it will not. Oh well. <laughs> that works. And it doesn't really matter which exit we go to. Oh, we were just at the beach. And it's even the same stage. Okay. Well, let's, uh, check and... Um, well, except for Runner, we've seen all... Oh no, we haven't seen Bomber. Let's try the stage again and actually make use of him. Oh, well, kind of like the original Bomber, except it doesn't kill the Lemming this time. And yeah, Runner does exactly what you would expect. It makes the lemming run. Yeah, okay, that's quite enough of that. Sports! Well, why not? Kayaker. And nothing else new. So are we going to have... Yeah, we're going to have water. Although I don't... Well, I guess a single lemming could use kayaker ability, and then presumably go the other way, and... yeah. Hmm. Oh well. You, you get to be a kayaker. Right, can we only do it to someone if they're in the water? Yeah, we can only do it to someone if they're in the water. Which then makes the... Hmm. And he looks like he's just sort of floating in the water, not really kayaking. Oh well. Oh, there it was. Very, very briefly. <laughs> They really want you to be completely perfect in... Wait, what? Oh well. Yeah, they, they seriously want you to be completely perfect in getting through with those particular abilities. You have exactly enough to get you through. And nothing new here. And again with the TARDIS there. Interesting. Is that not the exit in the other stage? I'm not even certain. Also... 
a message to Jen. <laughs> okay. Also, freaky moon. Kind of an interesting area, I suppose. Let's see, will they bump up against that? No, they won't. Interesting. Kind of saddened that we haven't seen any traps yet. The old game was filled with all sorts of crazy traps. Many varied ways in which the lemmings could be killed. And did not really get to see any such thing here. Maybe they are all in the later levels, but who knows. Yeah, okay, this should be the last one, I think. Not like even if you go in the original lemmings onto the harder difficulty settings, you will see traps in the first stage. That might be a trap, but it's very hard to say, and it doesn't really look like one. It looks just more like... Yeah, that's just probably just background nonsense. And again, with the whole... They expect you to get through perfectly. How would you even, with only one builder... I guess you have two platformers, so you would use the builder there. Platformer there, that's two. And I guess that would work out in that way. Oh well, <laughs> they are all dead. Oh, there is one last one. Space! And... hey, mortar. Nifty. And diver. Sure. <laughs> what would the advantage of diver be? I guess just getting a tiny bit of extra oomph out of the jump. So instead of falling down, you instead dive down and go a little tiny bit further out. Seems to be the case. And that can't be destroyed with mortar fire. That can. Well, anyways, I think we've had about enough fun here. Not really anything else to point out about this game. There's probably a couple of abilities in later stages that I was not able to, or either not able to, or didn't care enough to actually get to. So yeah, um, this has been Lemmings 2 The Tribes. I really prefer the first Lemmings, and only the Super NES version, but that's just me. Maybe there are folks out there who prefer this exact version, but can't honestly see too many of them preferring this handheld version over any of the other versions that exist of this particular game. <laughs>